Hello everybody, this is a tutorial on how to get Battlefield 2 HD Pro working on your computer completely. So I will show everything on how to install as well to show everything it needs to actually get up and playing on an actual server. So here we go. First thing you need to do is go to my website and that is battlefield2hdpro.com And when we go there, you will see the very first thing in the main menu is Downloads. And you see BF2 HD as well as BF2 Hub. You can use Hub if you like. You don't have to. So for now, I'm just going to show you Battlefield 2. And we'll click that. And it starts to download. And it says it's roughly going to take me an hour to download. So I already have it downloaded, so I'm going to stop this, and I'm going to drop this down, and I'm going to go to my files, so once you have this downloaded, you will see this zip file that says bfhdgold2.zip. If you extract all the files into a folder which I've already done which is right here it's the exact same name except it's a folder instead of a dot zip you open that and you will see bfhd.exe you want to open this and you go ahead and click yes and you accept the agreement and click next and click next. Now, this is the location it's going to install, which is your C drive x86, because it's a 32x program. And uh, you want it to go into this location. You do not want to browse. You do not want to send it to another location. Don't ask me why, but it breaks the game. It's a small game anyway, so just let it go in the default location. All right, go ahead and click next. Click next again. You don't need the shortcut. I will show you why, so I'm going to uncheck that. Well, I'll leave that there just in case you do want to use Hub. Um, I'll, I'll show that. Okay, so go ahead and click next and click install. Now, this shouldn't take too long. So uh, let me explain a little bit of why HD is so much better. The creator of this game pretty much shows off that it is high definition. And yes, it is. It can even go up to 4K, which is really nice. Um, it looks like a state-of-the-art game, even though this came out in 2005. This is an update to the game. But that's not really the amazing part about this mod. This mod fixes all the weapon problems that the 1.5 patch had on the original stock Battlefield 2. And now that the... Master server's gone. This has its own master server, so that is not a problem. And uh, there's no registry issues. There's no key code issues. This has a built-in key code thing. So everything's here. It's all in one. It's just one and done. So once this is finished, I will actually show that because it gives you uh, prompts for those things. So. In a sec here, it will be complete, and we will go through with that. Alright, so here is the key code manager, and as you can see, we can click on random, and it fills it in for you, and you click apply, and that's all you need to do. It's done, and you never have to worry about it again. Close. Alright, so this is finishing up here, and yes, Punkbuster, next, 
I don't like Punk Buster, but it's embedded in the game, so this is part of what it is. You just gotta let it do its thing. Click Next, and it will do a little test here. This is the last step for it. Alright, so it's finished without error. Click OK, click on Finish and you don't need to restart the computer. Go ahead and finish and close this. And now we will go to where the files are located. So it is program files x86 and it is not EA, it is bullet. You go to BULL3T. That is the file location. So the next is BFHD and you see here a bunch of files and bf2exe is how you run the game originally but you really don't want this unless you're running hub and if you are running hub that's why I put the shortcut up here but um, what I prefer to use is bf2 dash or underscore ru dot exe as I said it has its own master server if you try to use the BF2 EXE, you will never log in unless you're using Hub. So go ahead and open with the RU file. Oops. Open that. Now the reason why I'm showing you this is because there is a memory leak error and I need to demonstrate how you can bypass this error. Welcome to duty. Okay, click on play multiplayer and then accept terms and your account name. You can make it whatever you want. You can make a real email or you can make a fake email. Um, it doesn't really matter. And you can make your password whatever you want. And after you put in the password, you so you can hear me better. So as you can see, I did a making an account and I didn't actually click next on that because I retrieved an account, which I guarantee you both do work. So um, uh, if you have a hub account, I'm not sure if it actually picks that up, but if you make an account on this RU file, it can retrieve your account if you're installing for later. So let's go to multiplayer. And you can see my Battlefield 2 HD Pro server is running. We are on Midnight Sun here, and I'm going to join this server. Alright, so it is optimizing shaders, which takes longer than um, just loading in, so bear with me here. Uh, you're going to deal with this too because first time loading in. Alright, now as you can see in Windows 10 it's showing you this icon it gave a sound which indicates that there's something on the desktop. This also happens in Windows 7 or XP. You want to hold Alt and hit your tab key. 
Now as you can see here, Battlefield 2 is in this black area and the um, window here is showing something you can't see. And if you hold tab, you can see this error is right here. Now if you're running Windows 7, you can hit the letter C. Oh, that really didn't work. Okay, doesn't matter. I got a fix for whether you're running 7 or 10. Oh, that actually did work. Uh, that's interesting. I've never seen that work before. Usually it pulls it to the side and I can... Okay, so it brought me back in the game. Um, anyways, I'm going to back out of this. That did work, but it happened a second time. Sometimes it can happen a third time. Uh, it generally happens only twice, but sometimes it can happen to you like 18 times in a row. Once you've gotten through the map list, it stops happening, and every time you add a new map, it may happen again. So I'm going to get back in game. If I can get back in game. Oh. Now when I tab out, it'll drop all the way at the bottom of the taskbar, and it didn't. Why did it not work? Okay, that's frustrating. Um, if you hit Alt-Tab and go onto the error, it will not show you. But you can hit C, and it lets you in. So I guess that's, that's the process. I will do it again. Alt-Tab. Now you want to hold Alt, hit Tab until you're on the memory error. Even though you can't see it, you're on it and you hit C. C on the keyboard and it's verifying client data and it is working. Join game. All right. Select your army and kit by clicking the buttons on the left side of the screen. Press your enter vehicle key to get in. Alright, as you can see, the game is working and I found a way to get around the memory error differently from what I was originally going to explain. But Press your enter vehicle key again to exit the vehicle. That totally worked. So hopefully that works for you as well. Okay, so let's go to multiplayer. And you see my server is Battlefield 2 HD Pro. Alright. And as you can see, the best double is already in there. And uh, he's my server hoster. Anyways, I'm joining server. And now it's going to optimize the shaders, which for some of you might take longer than others. A lot of times this takes a long time, but I have a pretty good computer here, so which is an old game, so um, it just kind of depends. Anyways, this is what I really wanted to show you, because it's going to come up with an error in just a second here. Alright, there's the error. You're going to want to tab out, or you're going to have the sense to want to tab out. Don't do it. I promise that's not how this works, because you're going to run into an issue. You won't be able to see what you're trying to look at to accept this error. And if you cancel the error, it'll always show this error. Now sometimes it shows this error more times for you than it will for me. Uh, for most people, it only happens twice. Very rarely does it only happen once. Um, anyways, this is the fix. Look at your keyboard and hit the letter C. And you can see it just started progressing and is going further. And it gave me the near second time. So if I just sit here, it'll sit here and it will look like it's not doing anything. But it kind of shows that it's working, but it's not working. It's waiting for me to hit C again. Now, before I actually do that, I'm going to let you know if you're running Windows 7, uh, it will not prompt you with a sound and it will not show this icon that uh, shows like it's working so when you see that it looks like it's making no progress 
in Windows 7, just hit the letter C. And if you are in Windows 10 and you see that it's doing this, just hit the letter C. And now you see the Battlefield 2 logo shows it's working, so it is working. And it's going to allow me to join here in a sec, so there it is. I click join, and I'm in game. Hopefully this solves a problem for you as it has solved the problem for me. Alright, so, now that that's been done, um, I think that's pretty much it. I'll get out of here, and uh, you guys have a great day.